What's happening, good people? Today, I have an appetite for a new guitar. Ugh. This weighty beast right here, if you couldn't tell from the catch line, is a Slash Epiphone Les Paul. We unboxed this during one of our live streams, so basically, there's not really much to show you. We got it from Sweetwater. This thing is beautiful. Mahogany neck and body. A uh, Indian laurel fretboard. Frets are really nice, binding all the way around. It's a triple A flame veneer. This is the November Burst color. Back is beautiful. 22 medium jumbo frets, uh, graph tech nut, a uh, slash C custom style neck. She's a beaut. Epiphone vintage uh, deluxe humbuckers, bridge and neck, three way switch, two volumes, two tones. What else more could you ask for? Let's plug her in and see how she sounds. While we're tuning her up, you know, you could possibly win this guitar, or for that matter, almost any guitar that we review. I'll leave a link down below to a video describing it, but basically, we're gonna be giving this away to one of our Patreon members. I know what you're saying, it's pretty crazy, but it's a simple way to thank you. All right, we'll go through some uh, clean tones first. Uh, just, just general overall, my first impression, I had a, uh, I believe it was a, a Gibson Les Paul Standard in 2011, and uh, uh, that was, I believe, at that time, $1,700. This feels like every bit as weighty as that. The finish feels, I think, just as good as from what I recall. And yeah, um, let's see how she sounds. Do some clean first. <laughs>
I mean, I think it's pretty damn good, especially for something that someone's gonna get for free. Um, the only thing I was never really too crazy about with the Les Pauls was the, the finished necks on the back. And uh, I hear like maybe you can like scuff them up if you're really that, you know, not into it. You know, taking like a, a triple O steel wool, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And I'm not gonna do that because I know I just heard somebody shriek that possibly might win this. Um, just playing it for the little time that I did, I could feel like, you know, get like a little bit of stickiness. And this is really the only video you're gonna see this in because I'm gonna try to keep this in as the best condition as possible for that winter. It is used, it's a used guitar, you've seen it being used. So, um, you know, however your uh, tax implications work, that's up to you. But again, go check out the Patreon to see how you could possibly win this guitar and many more. I mean, if you really want the Fender Squire debut uh, Telecaster or Stratocaster, I won't knock you for that, but um, yeah, this one's definitely a, uh, a solid uh, piece of machinery over here. Let me know what you thought about it, if you have this guitar or if you have any other Epiphone Les Pauls, but this definitely really uh, re kind of ignites my passion for Epiphones. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check out this video at the end of this the, um, where I had a Epiphone that completely I would have tossed in a uh, garbage bin, so... As always, you've been a fantastic audience, and remember, stay tuned.